Welcome back, everybody. And of course, we always are telling you about great events that you can participate in on the weekends and during the week. But this one is this weekend. The best thing about it, it's free and it's honoring some people who do a great service to us every day. Joining me now are members of the Koshi family. Correct? Yes. I only asked you three times in the break. But I, was, <laughs> I was afraid I was going to screw it up. This is Jonathan. That is Joshua. And that is their mother, Shannon, down there. And you have an event that you have come up with the second annual. It is the uh, run, or not run, it is the, yeah, it is the run for the fallen, right? Yeah. And this is kind of your idea, wasn't it, Jonathan? Tell me about how you kind of came up with having this event. Um, we felt like the media wasn't giving enough attention for soldiers, and it was just going mostly like other things. And we thought it would be a good idea to refocus the attention. and honor people that served our country. And this is uh, primarily to honor, Joshua, this is primarily to honor people from what uh, guys who are serving right now in Iraq and Afghanistan, is that correct? Yeah. And, and this is a, tell, tell people about this event, how long is it? Um, it doesn't really have a set time, you just can run more, you can run a mile or walk it or you can do more too. Um, you pick a soldier that has died, you write their name on this bib. Yeah, you can hold that up there, Shannon, that'd be great, you put on that bib and this is one of these things where it's non-political as well. This is simply a thing, Shannon, talk about that, that it's, you're here not to whatever message you may have or, or political agenda that may be on your mind. This is all about honoring these men and women who have obviously given the ultimate sacrifice over yeah. there overseas. It's, um, like you said, it's non-political and it's just a way for people that want to help some way or to kind of bring more attention to it, that they can just come, it's free and they just show up and like Joshua said put the name on it and you just honor even if you don't know anyone we'll have a list of names you can just pick anyone you want good idea and once again let's go over what time it is where it is Jonathan I'll let you do the honor since uh, you're a Dunbar student that came up with this Sunday correct yeah Sunday at 3 p.m. at the old Beaumont Kroger parking lot good deal and once again free Sunday show up get a little exercise it's gonna be a nice day right Mary Okay, there you go. Mary promises nice <laughs> weather. Guys, appreciate it. I know you guys got to go to school. Mm -hmm. You going to work after this? No. Okay, there you go. Well, we have a winner, <laughs> Shannon. It's going to be a great day weather-wise. Shannon will enjoy it. You guys might enjoy it to and from school. Stay with us, Mary. I'll have another look at that forecast up next.